Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is Sahara Kioni Haku and in this tutorial package we will be talking all about the mechanical drawings in Revit. Now before we start off with the tutorial, first I want to talk to you a little about the different versions of Revit and uh, different things about the families and templates. So let's go further with the video to talk about all of that. And in the future videos, we will be starting our modeling process. So as you may already know, uh, Revit, just like any other software, has different versions and the developers uh, each year present a newer version of this software. So it is very likely that right now you may be wondering, uh, which version should I use? So before we answer your question, we have to look at it from two different perspectives. Now, first thing that we need to know is that which version could be installed on your system. So if we're beginners and just starting to learn, we need to know that. That's only because um, each version of Revit requires different uh, system features. So the most basic things are required uh, to install Revit. And if we're starting to work on a project, depending on how big it is, uh, those features may go higher. All right, so how can we know what those requirements are? First, you have to go to your browser and uh, look up Revit and whichever version that you want. Uh, for example, I said Revit 2023 requirements. So I can check to see uh, what are the things that are required for me to install Revit. And the first website that pops up is Autodesk. So when you go into this website, you see a chart which is a list of the requirements of different versions of Revit. For example, what does 2023 version require? If your system has the least requirements, you can go ahead and install the version. And if you don't, uh, you can go to the lower version so you can see which one is more compatible. So make sure you install the matching version so that you get the best results. All right, now the second perspective that we need to make sure about is that uh, sometimes your client may uh, directly tell you which version of Revit you need to use. And in my opinion, if you have a contract going on, it is best that you make it clear uh, in the contract on which version you are trying to use. So why am I emphasizing so hard on this? It's actually only because the higher versions of Revit uh, can function on the lower systems. So to help you understand that better, First, I'm going to open the 2017 version and then click on open. And then I open a project file which comes from the 2023 version. Okay, now as you can see, I get a message saying the file uh, was saved in a later version of Revit. Okay, as in it's been modeled in a higher version. And because of that, it cannot be opened here. AutoCAD has the same problem too. But the only difference is that you are able to get a save as for a lower version so that you can open it in that different version. But that feature doesn't really apply to Revit. As in, you cannot have a higher version and then get a save as from it for a lower one. Alright, so it is possible that you may get a save as from a 2023 version and then your client says that I wanted a 2020. In that case, you have no choice but to redo every single little thing that you did again in 2020 version. So make sure you pay attention to that. Now, what if vice versa happens? I just opened the 2023 version. So I click on open and try to open a file saved from the 2017 version. Now, the message that I get is that the model is being upgraded from the 2017 to 2023. It actually takes some time to upgrade. And it is also possible that it might give me some errors or tell me that I need to delete or disconnect some items only to make the upgrade happen. So don't get too excited and think that this whole upgrade thing would happen correctly. It might even delete some things without me knowing. But we didn't get any errors here and the file has been opened. But as I told you earlier, it doesn't always happen. And in so many occasions, 
I might have to delete some things in order to help the upgrade go through, which is not very ideal for me. So I need to model my project in a version of Revit uh, so that I can have a compatible version to open it. The later version's files won't be open in the lower versions, but a lower version file can be upgraded to a higher version and it's possible that you may get errors and warnings or you might have to delete some items or we might have to disconnect some items, none of which is ideal for us. Before we start working with Revit, we need to make sure if two certain folders already exist in our system or not. And if they didn't, we need to download them. So go check this address that I tell you. You go to Drive C and then you go to the program data folder which is also hidden. If you don't see it, you would have to go up here to the view ribbon and then you have to check this hidden items box. If I uncheck this box, you can see that the program data folder will be gone. Remember that it's different from program files folder. Now if I check this hidden items box, I can see it. So we're going to go there and click on Autodesk and then go to RVT folder, which is the version that we're working with. For example, we are working with 2023. So we're going to open that. These are actually the two folders that I need. I'm going to open the libraries folder and you definitely need the English and English Imperial folders. I just entered English and it needs to have the US folder. So now we want to use all these. These are actually the families that we have. Now I'm going to go back to the RVT 2023 and go to templates. We should also be able to see our templates over here. I will be using the English and English Imperial folders. This one has to have them too. So now if I go here to the libraries folder and couldn't see those families or this English and US folders, what do I have to do then? We're going to go to our browser and then we look up Revit, the version that we're working with, which is now 2023. We type that and then add content and then open the very first page that pops up for me, which is also for Autodesk. You see it's knowledge.autodesk.com. There it is. All right. So once this page opens, if you look here, it says the exact same address that we just went to. C, Program Data, Autodesk, RVT 2023, saying that we need to have these folders in this path which we installed Revit in the first place. Okay, now the first chart that we have here is Revit 2023 Content Packs, which has listed the different versions uh, based on different countries and the different standards. Now, almost by the end of this table, first let me scroll down. There it is. We have an item called US English Contents for Revit 2023, which also says what it contains and in which location it will be installed. And if we go and click on this link here, the file will start to download and then I'm going to have it save the file in the destination that I want. Okay, so after the file is finished downloading, uh, you will have an exe file, which is an installation file. We're going to right click on it and then click on run as administrator. Now it's going to start extracting the file that we have and then the installing process will begin. Now, only because I had uh, those files already in my drive C, it gives me this message saying already installed, meaning that I already have all these files. But in case you don't and you start to install it, you would just have to do some small things. For example, you click on next and whatnot. And after it's finished installing, we're going to go to this path we said, local disk C, program data, Autodesk, RVT 2023, Libraries, 
then we can see that this libraries folder has English and English Imperial folders. So I'm going to open English and see I have US. Also, all these other folders will be added for me.